Hi, I'm Bailey Colley, and today I will be describing students of trauma. Students of trauma enter our schools dysregulated and with loads of baggage. And let's face it, we'll never really know what's going on inside that home. Things that happen outside of school impact what happens inside of school. When they are in the school building, they know they are physically safe and can start to worry about the other things going on in their lives. As teachers, we often see pain-based behaviors and misinterpret these as acts of defiance. When in reality, these students are calling out for relationships and co-regulation. If we try to control these behaviors, we typically experience an escalation of the behavior. These students are not in their rational brain. What looks like oppositional behavior is the limbic system sending them into a stress response into their brainstem. These students are not listening to your words because the language center of their brain is offline. They are listening to your tone and reading your nonverbal cues. Your tone is the most effective tool you have in the discipline process. These behaviors and behavioral issues we see are in fact regulation issues. The problem lies in the psychological and chemical imbalances in the brain. These imbalances in the brain and behavioral challenges stem from their past and what they have had to do in order to survive or what they've seen around them. The most disrespected youth will become our most disrespectful youth. Some students act out while others act inward. Students of trauma who act out are often considered the bad and challenging kids. They are the ones disrupting class, getting into fights, and are seen as behavioral problems. They may be disorganized, unable to sit still, or look like they have ADHD. They often think of themselves first, lack empathy, and are impulsive. Students who act inward often blame themselves for their trauma and are described as being depressed or anxious. Sometimes, when rage has nowhere else to go, it is directed at the self. This can look like depression, self-hatred, or engaging in self-destructive behaviors such as cutting. Powerless children have learned to shut down and comply. These students may fall under the radar and are not normally seen as behavioral issues. Students are dysregulated when we see these outward or inward behaviors. We have to co-regulate with them and teach them skills to regulate themselves, like practicing mindfulness. Our classrooms need to feel safe, both physically and emotionally, while fostering community and positive relationships. We must change our question from what's wrong with them to what happened to them. We need to start seeing these students through a trauma-informed lens. This is Bailey Colley. Thanks for watching.